About two months ago, South Sudan authorities at the border of Elegu and Nimle rejected 90 trucks from Uganda carrying assorted consignment that include maize grain, milled maize, dry beans, sorghum grain, cassava flour and finger millet grain on grounds that they were contaminated with aflatoxin. On 8th July, a team that was headed by the chairperson, Presidential Advisory Committee on Exports and Industrial Development, Odrek Rabogo, Minister of Trade, Uganda National Bureau of Standards and Grain Council officials, went to the border to assess the problem, take samples from the rejected consignment and test the standards. Results indicate that from the 23 trucks tested, of the eight that were carrying consignment of maize grain, four failed the test because of having high levels of aflatoxins, and of the 12 consignments of milled maize, only one failed. Uh, we have details of the analysis that indicate that um, of the five trucks, uh, one for maize flour had the UNBS certification, and one for maize grain also had a UNBS certification. So meaning that those were actually uh, under valid UNBS permit. Uh, but three of them were not certified by UNBS, meaning that UNBS, they, they crossed illegally. Small working committee uh, was set up on the Ugandan side, just like the South Sudanese side also had a committee set up. putting mutual recognition of quality and standard marks in the spirit of the ESC integration protocols. The manager in charge of operations at Uganda Revenue Authority, Godson Mwesije, says they collected 1.4 billion shillings last financial year from goods from South Sudan and exporting substandard products affects the country's revenues. We receive close to 300 to 500 trucks daily crossing to Juba. And most of them are food products and uh, fuel. If these laboratories are equipped, I can assure you we shall be able to check this. Issue of acceptable standards and the free movement of goods and services be taken seriously at both the national government but also at the East African Co uh, community level. Aflatoxins are molds that enter maize that is not well dried but moist and it can happen at all levels of processing the maize. State Minister for Trade in Tabazi Harit attributes this problem to not having good warehouses since most of them are privately owned. But the granaries, the issue of granaries are, is very, very important because for them they were moisture free. They were handling these uh, grains with moisture free. Now, on the side of government, we are looking at the infrastructure, putting in place uh, uh, warehouses. Most of the warehouses which are there are privately owned. Government is helping in uh, uh, renovating them, putting them under the, the warehouse and receipt system. Grain Council of Uganda has grown the processing capacity to 9,000 tons every day and storage to 450,000 tons, although there is still a storage challenge at lower level. The grain trade policy, uh, it be implemented to the letter. Within that policy, the, the trading outside of the borders uh, of grain that does not meet the minimum Ugandan and East African standards, the, 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 the harmonized standards, is not allowed. Let unprocessed grain only move from farm to a processing fa factory. And we're not talking about basic, I mean, uh, uh, any major level of processing. It should be cleaned, it should be dried, it should be packed in standard bags, and should be able to meet minimum East African standards for grade one, two, or at worst, grade three. Accordingly, the 22 consignments which passed the aflatoxin test will be released to the owners, while the five that failed have been seized at Elegu border pending disposal. I'm Navka Farida and Stephen Kalisia in Kampala.